Hello and welcome to a quick Lightning Tools screencast. This is to show you the new functionality within the Lightning Storm forums for creating a knowledge base. You'll see here in our forums that we've got two topics. One in particular we're going to look at is the separate site collections. So this has been marked as answered. And so as you can see, we've got a question here about what's the best practice for creating separate site collections. An answer that's not so good about just using one and letting it grow and grow, and then a proper answer with a link to uh, to an article that's useful. Now, back on our SharePoint questions page, that's listing all the topics. At the moment, it does appear at the top, which is good. But as more questions are asked and time goes by, these topics will move further and further down. So, what we can do now, if we go back to the original topic, is we can click on little button with an I for add topic to knowledge base. Now what this is going to do is create a web part page for us with the content on. Now the initial option or route that we go is we get to edit the actual top original topic and the replies as well. So the, the first reply that was rubbish, the wrong answer, we don't really want to show that so we can get rid of that. And the actual last comment about should videos really be put into SharePoint, well that's not really on topic so we can clear that out as well. And then we'll just move down to add topic to knowledge base. And we'll see now within our lightning conductor web part, which we're using just to bring in the content from different places, we can see we've now got our separate site collections knowledge base, knowledge base article. And if we click on it, we'll see our web part page there with best practice information, a question, and a link to the article that we want to read. So this is a great way of building up a, a knowledge base of questions that are asked quite a lot by your users and, and the relevant answers that go with that question.